In the New Testament, a lot is mentioned about the Apostle Paul, who wrote many parts of it. However, one question remains unanswered. How did Paul die? This video will explore this question, discussing the year of his death, his age at the time, and the place of his passing. Hey there, fellow believers! Ready to dive deeper into our faith journey together? Subscribe to our channel and become part of our loving community. We're all about sharing God's Word, uplifting messages, and fostering meaningful connections. Don't miss out on the blessings awaiting you. Subscribe now and let's grow in faith together. Who was Paul? Paul, originally known as Saul, was born around 5 CE, roughly the same time as Jesus. Unlike Jesus, Paul was born and raised in Cilicia, a region in present-day Turkey rather than Palestine. As a Jew living outside of Palestine, Paul grew up speaking Greek as his first language, although he was also familiar with Hebrew. In his writings, Paul mentions that he belonged to the Pharisees, a group within Judaism known for their meticulous study and interpretation of the Torah. Pharisees were committed to living according to the teachings of the Torah. Paul himself stated that he excelled in his devotion to Judaism, surpassing many of his contemporaries in zeal for his ancestral traditions. In summary, Paul was deeply committed to his Jewish faith. Initially, he viewed Jesus' followers as heretics and actively persecuted them, as he himself admits in his writings. However, his perspective changed dramatically. Paul, formerly known as Saul, was on his way to Damascus with the intent to persecute followers of Jesus when he experienced a profound event. He was struck by a blinding light that knocked him down, and he heard a voice addressing him as, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? The voice identified itself as Jesus and instructed Paul to go to Damascus and await further guidance. This marked the beginning of Paul's mission. Traditionally, this event has been referred to as Paul's conversion, suggesting a complete shift from Judaism to Christianity. However, many scholars now interpret it differently, seeing Paul as remaining a devout Jew who believed Jesus to be the Messiah. Paul came to see himself as an apostle chosen by God to spread the teachings of Jesus to non-Jewish people. This led him to embark on numerous missionary journeys establishing communities of Jesus' followers throughout the Roman Empire. He corresponded with these communities, offering guidance and addressing their concerns, and his letters eventually became foundational texts for Christian doctrine. Despite his significant influence on early Christianity, there is limited information about Paul's death in the New Testament. In the book of Acts, Paul is depicted as traveling to Jerusalem and visiting the temple, where he is recognized by some individuals who accuse him of speaking against their people, their religious law, and the temple itself. Fellow Israelites, help! This is the man who is teaching everyone everywhere against our people, our law, and this place. More than that, he has actually brought Greeks into the temple and has defiled this holy place. Acts chapter 21, verse 28. After Paul is identified and accused in the temple, the situation escalates to the point where people plan to kill him. Roman authorities intervene and arrest Paul, seeing him as the source of the disturbance. Paul asserts his rights as a Roman citizen and requests to be tried in Rome. He is taken there and spends two years under house arrest. During this time, he continues to preach to visitors who come to see him since he is unable to leave. Despite these events, the Book of Acts concludes without providing details about Paul's eventual death. When did Paul die? Paul's death is not explicitly mentioned in the New Testament, but external sources provide some insight. The earliest account comes from the letter of First Epistle of Clement, dated around the end of the first century. According to this letter, Paul travelled extensively, preaching and teaching, and eventually reached the extreme limit of the West, which is interpreted as Spain. 
The letter suggests that Paul gained renown for his faith and righteousness, but ultimately suffered martyrdom under the prefects. Interestingly, the letter does not provide details about how Paul died or whether he was released by the Roman authorities. Similarly, while First Epistle of Clement mentions that Peter was killed in Rome, it does not specify the circumstances of either Peter's or Paul's deaths. Eusebius, a 4th century church historian, provides more detailed accounts of the deaths of both Paul and Peter, attributing them to the Emperor Nero. Nero, known for his hostility towards Christians, initiated the persecution of Christians after a massive fire ravaged Rome in 64 CE. To deflect blame from himself, Nero targeted Christians, whom he deemed as already despised for their vices. They were subjected to brutal tortures and executions, with some being used as human torches to illuminate Nero's garden. Paul, who likely arrived in Rome during Nero's persecution, would have been recognized as a Christian by Roman soldiers due to his preaching while under house arrest. Consequently, he was likely executed in Rome between 64 and 68 CE, at around the age of 60. While the New Testament doesn't provide details about Paul's death, Historical sources like Eusebius and Tacitus shed light on the persecution of Christians under Nero's reign, giving insight into Paul's likely fate. How was Paul killed? Peter's tradition of being crucified upside down in Rome aligns with the historical context of crucifixion being a common method of execution for slaves, disgraced soldiers and Christians. As a Jewish Christian from Palestine, Peter fit the profile of someone likely to face crucifixion. Similarly, the traditions surrounding Paul's death, such as those recounted by Eusebius, suggest that he was beheaded. This fits with the fact that Paul was a Roman citizen, and Roman citizens were typically executed by decapitation rather than crucifixion. Paul's likely arrest in Jerusalem followed by his transportation to Rome during Nero's persecution of Christians, places him in Rome during a period when Christians were targeted for execution. This suggests that Paul was probably killed as part of Nero's persecution between 64 and 68 CE. In summary, Paul's Roman citizenship would have spared him from crucifixion, making beheading the probable method of his execution in Rome during Nero's persecution of Christians. The accuracy of this tradition is impossible to gauge. Again, the Bible does not record how Paul died, so there is no way to be certain regarding the circumstances of his death. Acts chapter 9 verse 16. But, from all indications, he died for his faith. We know he was ready to die for Christ, Acts chapter 21 verse 13, and Jesus had predicted that Paul would suffer much for the name of Christ, Acts chapter 9 verse 16. Based on what the book of Acts records of Paul's life, we can assume he died declaring the gospel of Christ, spending his last breath as a witness to the truth that sets men free, John chapter 8 verse 32.